Hello everyone, welcome to ProMind's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. This week we'll be going over how to use parametric constraints. We'll be going through a couple of simple commands, such as the tangent to a circle parametric constraint, the parallel constraint, and the perpendicularity constraint. So if we start off by drawing a polyline in this direction, and another polyline in a different direction, then we use the parallel constraint here, press on the first line and then the second it will make them parallel to each other now this little box here shows you what type of constraint is currently being uh, is currently connecting those two objects now if we draw a third line here and just make it cross here then we use the perpendicularity constraint select the first line and just a second here okay so select the first line and then the second line You'll see, obviously, because it's parallel, these two lines are parallel, it's going to be perpendicular to both of them. Now, if we move one of these lines, rotate it, you'll see that all three objects will move uh, to maintain the constraints. Now, these boxes here are just there to show you the type of constraints that are linking the lines. Uh, you can remove them and the constraints will continue to apply. Uh, finally, we're going to use the circle and tangent constraint. So if we just draw a circle here and use this constraint on the circle and this line, and then we move the circle. You'll see that it will maintain the tangent regardless of how I move it because of the constraint I just applied. And it will also satisfy the other constraints that are linked to this line. So that concludes this week's AutoCAD tips and tricks. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for another topic, please send them to us through the comments below.